Whenever I'm alone at home, and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? To get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either. But according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Hello? Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Oh, can't be sad now. Job time. Can't request a day off for myself. Anyone gonna? No? Oh, okay. Uh, Juraki, Yancy, Perdi, Subaki. Ah, we've got Jurak, yes. Um, I think actually uh, Yancy did quite a good job. How do I give stripes there? How do I give stripes? How, how, how? Okay, no, let's just uh, start the day. Uh, let's listen to the fur one. Don't you leave me here. Don't you leave me here. Okay, yes, here we go. What's A? If someone commits a serious crime and flees the scene, the case goes to your detectives. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an elderly man approaching some expensive cars in the parking lot carrying a long iron rod. 
The whole street could hear him shouting, Bastards, thieves, blood suckers! Uh, why can't I, um. They investigate the crime scene, interview witnesses, and gather whoever. Whatever information seems pertinent. One of the detectives will be lead investigator on the case. You can assign additional detectives to any case or work under the lead investigator subordinates. The more professional the lead investigator, the more effective the team. So a mole will be. Nah, 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 nah. Let's see. Okay, let's. Uh, well, since it's an, old, an older man, I doubt it's going to need really. Um, any hands So back in. This is free again. Why is Shift A got less detectives? I need a detective on this one as well. What's uh... Work Glasgow. I have for Shift A. And three, six, seven, three, six. Right, we're good. Oh, that's a good song. A gas station surveillance camera recorded a car that's on the stolen vehicles list. Also, oh, three officers on this one. Still got four officers, I'm doing quite well. Investigation started. Detective and Vincent witnesses collected evidence from the scene and they're showing the investigation. Expect the results. They drove by and oh no, sorry, um, a drug witness. Oh yeah, they drove by and they and they shot like a machine I I didn't see much. Oh, okay, get what's next, Mr. Clayton, neighbour. I only heard a few more food shots. Lawrence Carr, neighbour. He got what he deserved. He's been chasing trouble for a long time, and recently there's been a lot of cursing and carrying on. A witness. Uh, Stacey, I don't remember the car. The neighborhood was quiet. I never heard any shots. Daryl Carpenter, neighbor. The police don't do anything. Oh, sorry. The police these days don't do nothing. I almost died myself. I went to buy some medicine. I was just shot by a neighbor's car. Hit by a neighbor's car. Uh, so, first he was well, he was walking, then he, he, he got shot. So, uh, the glass was already broken in both shots. You can see it there. Which means um, that was already done. So, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Defender escapes, officer and arm. Oh, don't see Backy. A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to all to a local radio station promising to kill any black, not just firemen and police. We don't need any more death, especially not mere months before the election. The racists are gaining more and more followers, and even some of our citizens support them. They have to fight all the employees in the next two days. Come on, really? Uh, Stovall, Robbins, and Austin all need to be fired. Great. I'll do that at some point. I really don't want to do it. That's the name. I really don't want to do it. Because I'm not racist. But sadly, it's what you have to do for a game. Uh, the driver is nowhere to be seen. Looks like we have a situation. Uh, wait a safe distance for the for it to appear. Yes! Brilliant there, are you free? Corey Ramsey, mother of several children, has expressed her concerns about a suspicious man wearing bifocals seated on a bench outside a police outside a playground a play a police ground. He's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several photographs of them. Okay, we're gonna send our best officer on this one, plus Austin. Free, come back. Ah, uh, okay. 
Oh, and the court, God. officers unharmed. Boom, bitch. Right, let's just wait for this to... Uh... We can wait for this to end as well, actually, because I'll have everyone back then. And it's 20 seconds. Dragon's Lair Club. What a name. Okay. Mr. Boyd, I'm up in Gefeeberg's first martial arts club. I'm... And for my first exhibition, I want to hold a sparring match where one of my students takes on the toughest cop. After the fight, I'll teach your man a few tricks, something that will help him out in the streets. Jurak, you're the best. Close to... Purdy's close, so... Thank you. Homicide reports. Your detectives present frames, different versions of what might have happened at the crime scene. So we'll open the investigation rates. They got it wrong half the time, but a good cop can separate fact from fiction. If they know how to look at these <coughs> materials, the more professional detectives working on the investigation are better their instincts. To get your suspects, uh, you'll need to figure out the true sequence of events of the crime scene using the frames you think likely. So that's with a little guesswork thrown in. If you add it all up, but the sequence fails, you're probably telling the wrong story. So, they drove by in a sedan and they shot like a machine gun. So, it probably goes something like that, that, that. When investigating pans there, you'll have yourself a suspect. Sometimes there's more than one, but in this case, your detectives have narrowed it down to a single candidate. Travis Horton, a known racist who already has several previous convictions. Gotcha! Your detectives have information on the whereabouts of a suspect. Sometimes there might be a number of locations to choose from. To carry out the arrest, two officers must escort the lead investigator to apprehend the suspect. If the lead investigator is not on duty, the arrest will have to wait, but remember that fugitives won't sit patiently until your schedule clears. Also remember that criminals will react in different ways. Frank Thief is likely to surrender as soon as the game is over. A brutal killer might just want to see how many he can take with him. The more dangerous the criminals, it's safe to send more experienced officers and even the SWAT team if you see fit. So, he probably will surrender, so I'll send Kochi and Yancey. He's gonna fucking die. <laughs> He's gonna be caught almost instantly. Kevin's throat bar. A bartender reports that a couple of dancers started fighting over tips and a cat fight broke out on stage, so Purdy and Subaki. Oh my god. A bartender reported that a uh, broke up between a patron and the bar's bouncer. The man apparently drunk had climbed onto stage where a local singer was performing and tried to sing a duet with her. Asano. I'm right now, officers, hurry up. Come on, Jurak, hurry up. Please tell me you beat him. Please, come on. You're, 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 you're part of the freaking team here. Chief, I just about nailed the jack, nailed the jack a couple of times, but it was too fast for me and won on points. I don't really understand all their rules, so I can't keep track of points very well. But he was alright. He even showed me a few tricks after the match. I got carried away and I got, got a little lump over my back. Think I can take a day off? Come on, Jurak. You're a man. I offend the court. Boom. We were able to arrest all suspects. Case closed. On the stage are two strippers going at it and it's gone beyond arguing them to a full on cat fight. The bouncer is fast asleep, clearly too waste to handle the situation. The drunk patrons are all happy watching the fight. Um well if they're in a full on cat fight, they're not gonna bother about having the music off and the lights turning up. Join the service weapon just seems stupid to so all. This thing goes, cut the crap, it's gonna get serious. Kim's continue fighting, obviously oblivious of the police presence. Uh. <laughs> get, a get some cold water, throw it on them. Yes! Who's the best? I'm the best. You see? Sometimes you just gotta throw some water on him, apparently. Asana, you should be done by now. Yep. Offender escape, damn it. Come on, Asana, you're much better than this. End the day. Oh, there was a car outside. Okay, so since I have to fire all my black police officers. <sighs> um, no, I can't even do it here anyway. I have to wait. 
And I'm finished anyway, I've done, I'm, after this I'm done. Right. I'm going to leave it here, guys. Um, that was so fun. I'm I'm thinking of doing a series on this. I probably will do. Uh, let me know if, what you guys think of this game, because I actually do really love it. I don't know if you're moving on camera, because I moved it. I don't even know how on camera I was. I'm sorry if I was like off camera all the time, because I can't check. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.